All right, on the national stage over the last two days, thousands of people have taken to the streets of New York, New York City, to demand an end to the use of fossil fuels. Have you seen this? Well, the protesters demanded President Biden stop approving new oil and gas projects. Environmental activists say that U.S. interests are responsible for one third of the world's planned oil and gas drilling projects. Several big names are at the protests, including Susan Sarandon, Ethan Hawke, and Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Ortez. And AOC wasn't the only politician at the protest, though. Boise School Board member Shiva Rajbandari was also in attendance. He was one of more than 100 protesters who were arrested for blocking the doors to the Federal Reserve yesterday. We reached out to Shiva for a comment on his arrest, and he said in part, quote, on Monday, my friend Ella and I took part in the mass nonviolent civil disobedience at the New York Federal Reserve to demand that President Biden declare a climate emergency and that Chairman Powell regulate big banks financing of fossil fuels. He goes on to say in an extended statement, quote, we, along with 147 courageous activists from across the country, were arrested on the infractionary charges of obstructing pedestrian traffic and refusing to disperse after a lawful order. Meanwhile, the real criminals, Rajmandari writes, fossil fuel executives and the world leaders who seem to work for them walk free. So the president of the Boise School Board, Dave Wagers, responded to my question in terms of do they have a quote or a statement or concerns about the rest of Rajbandari. He says in a statement, quote, Trustee Shiva Rajbandari was duly elected by the voters of the Boise School District area, and we, as trustees, hold no authority over another trustee. The Boise School District Board of Trustees remain committed to keeping our focus on our students, our families, our teachers, our community, and the many Boise School District programs that contribute to educating our students today for a better tomorrow.